Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we're going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin chart together here. I'm going to of course be covering the large drop to the downside, how I am currently still trading this in my short position, currently sat in around $260,000 profit in around 12 hours of trading here. So less than a day, around $250,000, $60,000 profit currently. Of course, I'm expecting lower. I'm expecting more profits to be generated here, but CC Pool are currently here printing, 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 printing. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. I hope you thoroughly enjoy the analysis. And let's get straight into the charts together here. I'm even going to actually compound this because this SR flip is very nice indeed. So I'm going to look, even while I'm talking through on this public video, I'm going to enter another $100,000 into this short position because for me, this is uh, an SR flip and I'm expecting lower again. You're going to see this play out during this video, I'm sure. Uh, so anyway, what I'm going to be going with this is, uh, and I've also got an, a, a take profit set at this low, just a percentage of profit, but I am going to take a, a bit of profits there. Um, anyway, I want to talk you through this in a very professional style, okay? Explaining each high and each low, how I've been calling this market. I mean, to be fair, you have to uh, appreciate what I've been doing in this market. I've been high term time frame medium term time frame bearish on bitcoin expecting lows below seventeen thousand dollars now for months months and months and months i've been expecting this and it's finally play out and you know the people that paid attention the people that listened to me um i know i've had a lot of really nice thank you messages a lot of people i've saved from getting wrecked by the way there's another hundred thousand dollars filled on that position uh a lot of people i've saved from being getting wrecked and you know overall the the positivity and thanks has been you know that's why i do this it's it's absolutely brilliant um so yeah i just want to start off by saying it's an absolute pleasure to have warned you all about this bear market uh to show you every trade that i've been taking that i've shown you on video has always been a short i'm always keeping my short positions open on the swing trades on the scalp trades on the day trades you know i'm more than happy to um show you these these results of what's really possible here and through this video today i'm of course going to show you what i've been looking at over the past 24 hours and what i'm looking at next for the next you know few days to come so pay full attention of course it's one of these where you you're going to learn something you're going to you're going to take a lot of benefit from this video so without further said i'll do this let's get into the analysis together and um, I want to start off by talking about this rise that we saw to the upside okay and then of course I'm going to be moving on to what's happening now and what I'm looking at next but I want to start off with this rise here and how what we were looking at during yesterday's video if you remember correctly so uh, yesterday we had a really 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 nice long into the short I first want to explain this long and how this was really nicely called so first of all I want to cast your mind back 24 hours and I was t telling my team within Discord new lows to be made. OK, I'm expecting new lows to be made here to the NPOC. This was locally. You have to. <laughs> we've had a lot of volatility since then, but I just want to really explain each step of this. So I was expecting new lows to be made below this daily level to stop out the early longs. And then we got a potential swing fire pattern, right? Remember, we had levels from 19,250 down to you know, down to 18,900. So we got a few levels here to be aware of. And so what we can do is set our alerts on each level and trade the reaction. Of course, we got the reaction, by the way, and it was a swing failure pattern. We're live in the time I'm showing my team I've entered the long trade. No hesitation here. Okay, long trades have been entered. I also took profit on my short trade. Okay, so we got that swing failure pattern. Okay, we got that swing failure pattern. So this is what it's looking at live in the time okay we had the alert set at the npoc i knew this low was going to get taken out we then take out that low with a swing fair pattern onto the npoc i tell my team live in the time that for me is now a percentage take profit on my short and i'm opening a scalp long trade okay so then what are we looking for next if you paid attention to my video yesterday you know i then gave two levels the vwap moving up to around twenty thousand five hundred dollars so we're in this long with two targets vwap and twenty thousand five hundred well what happened next was just absolutely outstanding myself and others by the way getting into that trade you can see once again ef man wow he's been doing his homework and trading the charts just as well okay but this was obviously the prediction that we were looking at come down swing failure pattern the mpoc move up to around twenty thousand five hundred twenty thousand six hundred dollars okay but when we move along we obviously got that swing failure pattern took those long trades and we start to move up towards that target of twenty thousand six hundred 
okay as we were moving up here through the vwap we smashed through it we smashed through 21 20 told my team with this i've taken zero new shorts yet zero new shorts yet we're looking still for that liquidity at 20,600. let's pay attention and let's keep looking for higher at the moment okay my mentor showing you how to live a free life an amazing teacher if you want to learn how to make money anywhere anytime join the great cc pool chart champions well then we finally move up to our target so we had longed the swing failure pattern of the npoc we then recognize i'm going to show you this post in a second it was absolutely brilliant 20,660 target okay then we see our perfect swing failure pattern so we obviously had the swing failure pattern move up to second and largest target 20,500 zone i then told my team okay this is a post from in my discord OK, you can kind of read through. I'll read through it pretty quickly as it's worth it. Um, nowhere we're going to make a new low based off of the order flow this morning. Um, what is happening to this? OK, I uh, knew we were going to make a new low based off the order flow this morning and early longs into the bounce from the daily level. I remain patient for new lows. We swing failure pattern the NPOC, which give me the new low I wanted. We then. So I had to pause the recording there because I was getting some really annoying flickering on my screen. And uh, <laughs> yeah, basically I'm back. So, so back to where we were, I was talking you through, da -da 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 -da. I was talking you through this post, right? Uh, so obviously step number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to just quickly go through the steps and go to point number eight, where I was talking about 20,660 as the next target. And basically this is what happened next. We moved up to 20,600. We took the high, which was our key level at 20,660. From there, we've got our next short trade. Okay, so I want to now explain what we've seen here. It was the low off of the NPOC swing failure pattern. Then we moved up to the exact level that I gave my team. 20,660 is the next target. Okay, so look at this. This was 20,660. I want to show you the confluence that I had on this trade, which was just absolutely perfect. So from the current overall high, just around that 21,500 level down to the low that was made. Okay, we then had this key level of resistance with the liquidity right into the CC. Okay, so right into that CC level from the current high to low so if you had missed any of the shorts and you needed to get into one this was the best opportunity that you could have okay why was it such the best opportunity we're talking about resistance su support into resistance taking liquidity in the cc in a time where if you were paying to the attention to the news you probably got wrecked it's as simple as that why would you got wrecked because there was all this talk about um, Binance buying out FTX and all this sort of rubbish that who cares about this just trade the charts as I'm showing you here by the way that that compound has gone well and we've already started to move down it's compounded at the absolute high of a hundred thousand dollars by the way um, anyway <laughs> yeah that that was basically the best opportunity and well from that that was obviously the high so then I'll move on and show you the next post that we had here so short taken after the swing fair pattern of the high no hesitation Okay, closed out of the long in profits. I got trailed up my stop loss and that stop loss obviously got hit. Stopped out the long only into short, which I'm happy to compound on each and every rise. Wait for the overall new load to be made on the Bitcoin chart. I also short, saw Bitcoin. I saw even saw Eagle was bearish. So arm bearish, Eagle was bearish. Everyone's waiting for new low. Everybody's waiting for the crash if you're in CC pool. Okay, so we can see here. 20,660 liquidity was the high. I'm telling them, confirming everyone that's the local high. Okay, I wonder when the market maker knew that high, as you can see here. Wonder who the market makers are right now. 20,655 entry yesterday. This is on my main account. I don't really show this main account on live streams, but this main account got into the entry of 20,655, which literally was the exact high of this move. Okay, by $5. Well, well, there we go. Nothing else to say about that. And, um, you know, then I go on to team, tell my team, short and chill for Bitcoin to make new lows. Really simply, you can see how confident I am in my analysis. There's no second guessing. There's no, I wonder what Daniel's thinking. No, I'm very confident ever since a few months. I'm high term time frame bearish. I'm now medium term time frame bearish. And then on the low term time frame, I'm bearish. I'm shorting and chilling. Every single rise, I'm shorting. I told my team, every rise is a short opportunity. I'm shorting every rise. I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I'm shorting every rise. 
okay? Even locally, you just saw me take another $100,000 short. I am knowing where this market's going. I am extremely confident in my analysis and I'm putting my money where my mouth is. Nobody can deny that. Nobody can deny that. And I gave my team the absolute perfect call once again, short and chill, waiting for new lows. Well, guess what happened next? We made new lows, everybody. Here you can see other people in my team taking those shorts along with me. I wonder what the trade update people are thinking right now. Liquidations hit across the board on the moon, boys. Uh, fairly happy about that. I'm not going to say happy or sad. I'm just going to say, hey, you got to pay attention to chart champions if you want to know what's happening next. But here you can other CC, other members of the chart champions, shorting the exact tie yesterday, all thanks to the teaching of chart champions, Igor and myself. Here you can see that entry price, very similar around that 20,500. Shorting the rises while everybody else is following the news and might be getting even bullish about these buyouts. No, we trade the charts and we absolutely crush them together as a team CC pool. Uh, once again, you can see these shorts taken on so I saw people with Ethereum, FTT. You know, we've, we've, we've crushed these markets. Long in the, here's this guy from the long from 17,300, taking it up to 18,000, then back into, you know, short positions. This is exactly what I've been calling over the past few hours. Okay, but really this is all stemmed from those $69,000 shorts, right? So back last year before we put in the high, I knew $60,000, $69,000 was the target. I've been very much keen and prepared for these targets. Even here you can see back, back this was obviously on the 10th of November, almost a year ago, 10th of November, taking the shorts from 69K, taking the shorts on the retest at 60,800. Well, here today we sit from in the main account, the shorts still from the swing trade, $69,000 today, trading at $17,000. I'm a happy guy. I'm a happy, happy, happy guy indeed. Um, and that's basically talked you through very briefly. And you have to remember, I'm talking you through this quickly because I'm trading this. Yeah, you can see I'm live in the time trading this. So I want to get back to the charts, but I just wanted to really quickly talk you through why that flow was put in yesterday, how that was called. Okay, how then that high was put in and how that was also called. Again, these are not hindsight posts. These are levels that are given in advance, putting, you know, trading these levels as they come to me. Okay, then obviously we got the low off the daily. We got our bounce. I even told my team this low is going to be revisited. And well, here we are revisiting the low. Um, yeah, and what I'm looking for next then. Well, I've kind of showed you. First, we got this initial SR flip, which is our current resistance locally into support and how overall I am expecting this to breach below this low. From then, I'll either look for another swing failure pattern or I move down to my next level. Okay, but for me, it would be looking for another swing failure pattern of this low next. Okay, what we could say is invalidation is reclaimed a VWAP, which has currently just given amazing shorts and amazing short trades. Um, yeah, I'm just... I, I, I kind of apologize. I'm speaking you through this very quickly, but I hope you can appreciate. I really, 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 really wanted to give you this update because I know what I'm talking about here. I know from the comments that I've been very helpful showing you the shorts, being very confident in lower. I can see the positivity in a time where I know a lot of people are in pain. I know a lot of people are struggling. I know a lot of people will have definitely lost money on this drop. I know they will have lost money on this drop. Okay. Because for some people to make money, other people have to lose, right? So unless you are in CC pool, unless you are aware of the updates and trades that I've been giving, majority of people have probably lost money because the majority of people don't know about us. So I wanted to make you this video to let you be aware that I'm looking for lower still currently. I'm expecting this low to be taken out. I have full confidence in that. I've already got some take profit set. I'm looking for the long. And I've even shown you live in the time here, I'm happy to compound this, still put, put in some more money and trades into this, you know, um, this is just, this by the way is my chart champions uh, trading uh, account. So this is like the challenge account that I done. And yeah, locally looking for this low to get taken out. Validation is the VWAP, happy to short each bounce until that happens. Uh, look for this low. Let's check the reaction off of there. We either get a swing failure pattern, which gives us our, our next trade, or we simply break down through and go for lower. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, you know what to do. Hit that like button. I've even said I'll do a special live stream tomorrow where I'll talk through that $69,000 short in more detail. And when I think that bear market's going to be over, I'll be giving you my opinion. All you need to do is hit the like button on this video. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Share this video. Like the video. And let's try and help as much people as possible. I truly truly believe I can help you out by giving you that information. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. So let me help you hit that like button, hit that share. And if you want to see more from myself, obviously you can get that over in chartchampions.com where you get access to all the education, all of the education 
You've got live streams tonight. You've already had two live streams today. Uh, you've got all the uh, courses in terms of the learning modules. You've got the speed runs. You've got the cheat sheets. You've got the journals. You've got the templates. And on top of that, of course, you have the best calls of all, which are from myself over in the Discord and the Coaches Only Read Only channel. So if you want to see my posts within the Discord, all of that before it happens for anybody else, well, then that's the only place you're going to get that is really simply over at chartchampions.com. That's inside the Discord. I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough. I have thoroughly enjoyed making it. I apologize that it's been a quick kind of run through. I've gone through it very fast, but I hope you appreciate I am actually live trading this and I do need to get back to, to monitor my trades and my positions, right? This for me is very, very, very important. Um, you know, I think you can agree, you know, here, even on this challenge account, this is, I'm, more, I'm really motivated for this challenge account, right? But um, yeah, even on this, you know, we've several million dollars on the line, you know, it's very important for me that I get, get back and trade this. So if you want to see more from me, I'll give you a special live stream, hit that like button, hit the share, and I'll catch you in the next video. I just want to say thank you ever so much, everybody. I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed and I will end, I will end, I will end with the legal disclaimer.